me at the time <laughs> that uh, you cannot revive a, an iconic series like the original one with Bill Shatner and Leonard mm -hmm. Nimoy and so forth. Patrick Stewart is a famous English actor, producer and director. He's played various roles on stage, TV and film during his successful career as an actor spanning six decades. The actor has been nominated for multiple Saturn Awards, Screen Actors Guild Awards, Emmy Awards, Golden Globe Awards, Tony Awards, and Olivier Awards. He started his career as a member of the Royal Shakespeare Company and later received the Laurence Olivier Award for Best Actor in a Supporting Role for his role in the West End. Stewart has appeared in film and TV shows such as Star Trek The Next Generation, Star Trek Picard, and X-Men series. Back in the year 1993, he was named the Best Dramatic TV Actor by TV Guide. Then in 1996, the famous actor was inducted into the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I met with them again, and we have the smartest, cleverest group of writer-producers that I have ever worked with on any show, anywhere, anytime. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button, as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Sir Patrick Stewart OBE, but is also known as Old Baldy Beef Stew and Beef Stew. He was born July 13, 1940 in Mirfield, West Riding of Yorkshire, England, making him 80 at the time of this production. He stands at 5 feet 10 inches tall or 1.78 meters. In 2010, Queen Elizabeth II knighted him for his services to drama. The star sign of this famous actor is cancer. He said that his politics are rooted in a belief of equality and fairness. The actor is a member of the Labour Party and considers himself a socialist. In 2014, this man was among 200 public figures who were signatories to a letter to The Guardian. In the letter, these public figures expressed their hope that Scotland would vote to remain a part of the UK. He's a supporter of Huddersfield Town AFC, and since the year 2010, Patrick has been the president of Huddersfield Town Academy. The actor is also an avid car enthusiast and is regularly spotted at Silverstone during the British Grand Prix weekends. And then in 2011, the actor was awarded an honorary doctorate of letters from the University of East Anglia. In 2004, Patrick was appointed Chancellor of the University of Huddersfield. Moreover, this successful actor was awarded a D-Lit from the University of Leeds in 2014. In 1966, he got married to Sheila Falconer. They remained married for 24 years before divorcing in 1990. Together, the couple has two children, including Daniel and Sophia. Patrick's son is a stage and screen actor and has also appeared with him in Death Train, Blunt Talk and Star Trek The Next Generation. In 1997, Patrick got engaged to Wendy News. They married in August 2000 and divorced in 2003. He'd met Lisa Dillon during a production of The Master Builder. They started dating and broke up in 2007. The next year, Patrick started dating Sonny Ozell. They became engaged in March 2013. The pair got married in September of that year. And what the Federation wanted him to do, it was politics. Mm -hmm. And um, so that plays a role in what we're doing, and we always like to reference a little bit. Mm. He's the son of Alfred Stewart and Gladys. His mother was a weaver and textile worker, while his father was a regimental sergeant in the British Army. Let me tell you that the actor has two elder brothers, including Jeffrey and Trevor, and his father died in 1980. Although Stewart's parents have not given him a middle name, he started using the middle name Hughes professionally during the 1980s. He later stopped using this middle name. Much of Stewart's childhood was spent in Jero, and the famous actor grew up in a poor household. His father was also a general laborer and a postman. Due to his wartime experience, Patrick's father suffered from post-traumatic stress disorder. Patrick went to Crowley's Church of England Junior and Infant School and entered Mirfield Secondary Modern School when he was 11 years old. During that time, Patrick met the actor Brian Blast. Patrick later left school at the age of 15 and started participating in local theaters. Patrick started his career by becoming a part of the Royal Shakespeare Company in 1966. 
Patrick was an associate artist of the company back in the year 1968, and in 1967, Patrick made his debut television appearance by appearing on Coronation Street. Later, the actor established with the Royal National Theatre and took several roles in British TV shows. Then in 1984, Patrick landed a role in the film titled Dune. His next major role was in Star Trek The Next Generation, which landed in 1987. He went on to appear in 178 episodes of this TV series and starred in various feature films based on the Star Trek franchise. Apart from his work in films and TV shows, the actor's been an active theater actor. Moreover, Patrick has voiced several characters in Family Guy and American Dad. In 2000, he appeared in X-Men and went on to reprise his role seven times in different X-Men films. Let me tell you that Patrick has over 150 acting credits to his name. Other films in which Patrick has starred include Conspiracy Theory, Men in Tights, Dune, Life Force, Lady Jane, King of Texas, The Last Stand, Logan, Match, TMNT, and Hamlet. to me in terms of Picard's storyline in this and how they were going to set up a different kind of world, a different kind of universe from the one we'd seen before. In 1985, he earned $2,900 from the film titled Wild Geese 2. Two years later, his salary from each episode of Star Trek The Next Generation was $100,000. In 2002, Patrick earned $14 million from Star Trek Nemesis alone. In 1992, he discovered that 15 minutes of overtime on the set of Star Trek The Next Generation will pay him the equivalent to a week's pay as a theater actor in England. He was initially earning $45,000 from each episode of the TV series, and then in 1996, Patrick earned $5 million from the film titled Star Trek First Contact. The actor also makes money from brand endorsement deals. He also frequently works as a voice actor for commercials. For example, Patrick has lent his voice to commercials for RCA TVs, Stella Artois Beer, Goodyear, MasterCard, and Pontiac, as well as Porsche cars. The total net worth of Patrick Stewart is $70 million. For many years, the actor lived in his house in Los Angeles with his second wife. And in 2004, he and his ex sold this property for $6.5 million. Then in 2012, he purchased a duplex in New York City's neighborhood of Park Slope. The house covers 1,200 square feet, and Patrick bought it for $2.5 million. It's worth mentioning that the property has an additional balcony that covers 200 square feet. Patrick had a house in Yorkshire, which he sold for 535,000 pounds in 2016, in 2019, he spent $4.3 million to acquire a property in Hancock Park in Los Angeles. The property has a swimming pool, plenty of palm trees, and covers 4,500 square feet. Patrick Stewart owns the following cars, a McLaren 650S, a 1939 Ford Popular, an Austin A35, a Ford Squire Estate, a Morgan Lightweight Race Car, a Cadillac DeVille,
an Audi Q7. A Jaguar XJS convertible. A Talbot Sunbeam. A Honda Prelude. A Buick Riviera. A Mercedes 420 SEC Coupe. And Alfa Romeo Alfa Sud. A Peugeot 205 GT. A Porsche Panamera. A Toyota Celica. A Lexus RX 450H. A BMW 635 CSI. A Jeep Grand Wagoneer. A Porsche 911.